dollars in here. Yeah. Okay, now forty. What is it? Forty. Forty four hundred dollars for mulch. Right. Community. How many cubic feet of mulch? Thirty two. Thirty two hundred. Thirty two yards. Is that that's all? Thirty two yards. Or eighteen hundred bags, depending on which way you want to put 1, it down. Eighteen hundred bags. All right. Uh, I mean, because it, it sounds like an excessive amount for mulch. And didn't they do the mulch pretty recent? When are they going to do the mulch now? As soon as we get some of the plantings in so we can cover the dirt over in that. But in your opinion, that's a reasonable enough figure for the mulch? In my opinion, it definitely is. All right. Let me tell you something about mulch. A few years ago, I didn't have anything to do with this. People got mulch in here, and it was ground up timbers from construction sites put in a bin and turned red so it looked like it. It was garbage. Mm -hmm. And they got a halfway decent price on it. This is grade A mulch. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. All right, fair enough. Look, we, we get bids. If you want to get more bids too, but I think it's something we owe to the community because if we don't continue to get bids and, and make sure that they're in competition, then um, we are doing a great disservice to the community. It's nothing personal against you. No, you're, in other words, you're going to go out and get bids for mulch, so. No, I, I will, if, if you're so hurt by us getting, uh, getting No, I'm not bids, hurt. I just like I to see things sure go you, like they should go. If I have somebody come to give us a bid, I'll have you come and walk the property with us and, and talk to the guy, too. If, would that be all right? That is fine. Or if they gave a bid, to, to maintain the place, show them the exact locations of everything we have, the, the six cul-de-sacs, the area by the lift station, the whole berm, the island, the, that whole bid. Let, without wasting your time, get the bid and then go to you and you discuss. Submit it to the paper. committee. That's what it should okay. be done. Right. That's a proper way right. to do it. Nothing to snub you. Please no. don't misunderstand me that nothing is about are being disrespectful now I for think what you've been doing. If you do it that way, it's a proper way. The way it has been done okay. before, is, as far as I'm concerned, you're neglecting the committee that right. has been appointed to do the work. Didn't mean to snub the no, committee. When you're up on top, Bill, you designate your authority. Down here, up here, to the top. All right. That's where it's, it's, it's one bit so far. We still want to have the numbers. We'll go with you with every bit, all right? But we technically only need two bids, but I like to get three or four at least. Technically, you don't need any bids, uh, according to state law. I don't, I don't know about that, but it, uh, it's just a currency type thing. Yeah, the only thing you need bids on is the landscape. Like for the mulch, you don't need bids on because anything over 10% of the, the budget has to be uh, Put out the bid. Yeah, to me, look, it's a money thing. You want them to do oh, a yeah. good job. If they're not, if they're doing a slip charge job, they go. Just like anybody else that does a slip charge job, they're out. Well, true being from what everybody said to me, they think they've done a hell of a good job in here. They did a great job, but aren't they kind of uh, one of the highest priced uh, landscaping companies around? I talked to the supervisor, and they sharpened their pencil. Okay. Fair enough. I said that to Georgia the other day too. If if. If we got other bids and then Jack can go to them, we we'll keep them. It's not a problem. But so how, come, how come nobody approached the present contractor we have to even ask for a bid? Well, but you know, what are you gonna? What you know? Who does that? You get well, all you the bids. Well, you had a man up there designated to do it. Well, sometimes you get all the bids first and then you go back to your contractor. Yeah, go go see. You have yeah, a comparison. You know, I could go up to him and say, hey, you can't do any better than no. So, you know, it's all relative. Apparently, if we went out for our bids, woke you up, and you start talking to the other company, so you got a better price. And that was the whole idea, to save money. Nick, I've done it through the, these bids for three or four years. I don't need a le lecture. Yeah, I yeah. Leave, go through that, you know. I know Jack, you're the best, so Jack. Okay. Hey, and Jack, I love you. Don't, don't get, misunderstand any of this. I'm sorry we hurt your feelings. All right. Now, uh, okay, so uh, anything, we're all done with the landscape committee. All right. Um, that's it. Huh? Ad hoc? What does ad hoc mean anyway? Is that a Winklejohn word? No, an ad hoc committee is a committee that isn't.
Oh, let me, on that note. Okay. The toilets okay. Is All right. uh, it's an advisory. Okay, let me just uh, mention this. Uh, uh, as far as Dick Helms, Nick, uh, as far as Dick Helms, because there, there isn't a committee here, and Paul Rattle is on a committee. I, I asked Dick Hel Helm in an advisory capacity uh, to, you know, put his, his uh, efforts into prices on the streets and, and what we have to do. We, we, got, we actually made him an ad hoc committee. Okay, there's your ad hoc. Okay, Dick Helm. The only one speaking of Dick Helm will be me because he, he wants to know that he's not going to be putting all, all kinds of effort into something and then it's just going to be uh, booted out by the board. So we, we kind of have to, I got to handle him in a delicate kind of way. Not on my jack. But uh, the thing is, we have uh, the flooding in certain areas in those gutters. And uh, we have crumbling concrete in, in the gutters there that has to be repaired. It's all part of, the, of what has to come out of that reserve fund. So uh, we're going to start getting uh, bids from some of those other companies, uh, Allied Paving, Griffin Paving, whatever. We, we, we know some we're done. We, we have to scrap that and start all up. And um, I'm going to be working a little bit with Dick on that. I'm going to speak to him this week. And, uh, and start getting some bids on that and what's the best procedure to go. We have some standing water in a couple of places like that corner house where, uh, uh, as you leave the entrance, uh, the exit, um, it sits there all the time. And there's got to be something, a drain and maybe a pipe to, to go back to the storm drain or something. Somehow or other, we have to iron out that. And you might want to get the word out for those of you sitting here, if you know of areas in, in where you live, that water, uh, there's a lot of standing water in the gutters, uh, that has to be repaired. And that's part of um, the requirements of Southwest Florida Water Management, too. That's your, your uh, uh, surface water management. And before we start paying the street, that has to be taken care of. Uh, we'll get the prices on the, uh, we'll get bids on, on finishing up the entire community with paving and see if we, we can handle it with what we have in the budget. Uh, it may be, if the price is right, and there may have to be some a little assessment, you know, that might be required to get it done. Um, these reserves, really, they shouldn't really ever be tampered with because they're, they're underfunded as it is, even with what, the full funding that's going in there. And the price of oil is fluctuating all the time, and these, these prices fluctuate every few months. So we really have to keep that in there and keep building it up and building it up. If the price is right now, though, I really, really strongly recommend we get the, these streets done, and then we don't have to worry about it for another whatever amount of years. But because somebody gave us a number like their useful life is 10 years or 12 years, I see a lot of cracking in, in those streets that can only get worse. When we start getting this serious rains, that's going to start lifting that, that asphalt, and now the project becomes bigger than what it is. As it stands, they can, they can rough up the edges by the, by the curbing, and they put a, a nice crown, and we're good to go. And if we can get it done, we might as well get it done. It's a big job. Get them in and get them out of the community. So, Would it be a good idea, though, if we need to do this preliminary work? That we do it before we do the paving. Well, that's what we're going to discuss with the with these uh, paving companies because they work in conjunction with with the, the concrete guys. We don't want one thing to start upsetting the other thing. Right. So uh, you know, like if they're going to bring in heavy machinery, we don't want them cracking up the gutters and, and whatnot. So we'll see what the proper method, the, the proper order is, and we'll have, we'll propose all that to the to the board. And um, so Dick is going to get. Some, yeah. some bids on fixing that that low spot and anything else that needs to yeah. be preliminary. I'm, I'm going to work. I'm going to go with it. We're going to break it all down and propose it to everybody. We'll probably have something at the next meeting. The order in which we have to do things or what kind of cost it's going to be. Well, that can be taken out of the reserve, so the money's there to pay for it. So well, we don't have a problem with that. Right, depending but, on but, what it costs. <laughs> but to try to do everything, well, we see that. Of what it costs, it yeah. has to be done. Right, before it, it all is in the reserves, but that's the thing. You've got three different things going on. The surface water, uh, repairing the cracked uh, concrete in those gutters, and the actual paving. 